Okay, so the guy tried the left one yesterday. That's a new, right? Mm. Yep. But you get a long problem. Yeah. Okay, how will we go over what we did? You know, we get a DC. AC, right? Yes. Okay. And also, you can see a uh, few things we need to know. Okay, one kilo ohm. Okay. Equal how many ohm? A thousand, thousand. right? Thousand. Ohm. Or 10 to the power of three, right? Three. Yes. Ohm. Okay. And one mega. Oh, how many equal? How many of? Mm -mm. Mega A million equals right million oh. of and power up. Six. Mm -hmm. Ten to the six. Okay. <clears throat> so, oh. What I try to make sure you all understand is when we're talking about Giga. What's the power of a Giga? Nine. Nine, ten, four, nine. Okay. Now, also, we already talked to you about the resistor. Okay. Then we talking about of law. <clears throat> then they will get a power plus minus ten volt. This I one. Ah, two. And our three. You know what is it here? What is it?
What the name? Mm -hmm. Serious circuit. Don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, that um, ground, maybe. I don't know. Exactly. I'm talking about that one. This symbol. Negative. Ground. Ground. Come on. Common ground? Okay. Yeah, they oh. must be. Like your, you see on your car battery, the black one, get a ground. Okay. The black one. Okay. That's a common. Okay, now, if you're looking into this circuitry here, how many resistors? Three. Three, right? Right. One. Ah, two. Ah, three. Now I give them the value. Fifty. Hundred. Okay. Hundred fifty. If I don't put any unit, they will be. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. If I say kilo ohm, then I put K O. Okay. Like I say K O. Kilo. M O. Mega. <laughs> okay. So. For this circuitry, you get three resistors. What thing we're talking about? <coughs> Let's see. Um, I'm lost. So the current will be go coming from power. They go this way. <laughs> That's the coda. And the arm law to get the formula will be V equals I divided by R. R. V, that means E here. Okay? Same thing we say V. In this unit, what unit for the B? They must be voltage. Oh, okay. The thing is, so you can say you get a millivolt, microvolt, kilovolt. However, in the arm law. You next for me have to be both. How about I? What yeah. is next of I? Current. I know the I mean, I mean current. Current. Yeah. Okay. Current. What's my question is? The illness. Amps. A pair. Okay. And R. Resistance. Right. But the unit. Ohms. They must be. Ohms. Oh. That's what you have to remember. And from V equal I time R, and you're able to calculate I. V. Divide by R. Ah, or you can calculate R. V. 
revive to art. So on the three formula, that will be unlocked. If you get I, you get R, you're able to calculate the total three. Or if you get a V and R, you can calculate the current I. Okay. And if you get the V and I, then you can calculate the register. Now, we go into that. Formula, okay? So that's what we're talking, okay? And now, third thing, and the second thing here, also the formula. If you want to calculate the power, then the power can be P equal V times I. In this formula, P equal V time I. My question is, what unit for V? Both. Unit for I? M. M. And the unit for P. What? What? Correct. The thing is, sometimes they give you milli M. Then you have to convert it into the M. Okay? P will be a what? If you calculate by that formula, V in both, okay, I will be unpaired. And also, in here, they give you a few more formula. You can calculate P equal I square times R, okay? Or, V equal V square divide to R. So basically, when you calculate the power, you get three formula, okay? Depending on whatever they give it. Now, we're talking about theory. You only get two different types. One will be a Theory circuit and another one will be parallel circuit. Okay. <laughs> so in here, they're telling you in the theory circuitry, current is the same everywhere in the circuit. Total resistance equal sum of the individual resistance. Total voltage equal the sum of IR voltage drop across eight resistance. Total power equal sum of power. Okay, now I go back into this circuitry here. Okay. Now, if you're looking into this circuitry, you can see you get a golden eye. I go to R1, or I go to R2, or R3, only one color. So in order to identify, this is a series circuitry. On register get the same color. Okay. And now when the current goes to R1, 
So this side will be positive. And the other side will be negative. negative. That means the current coming, positive, leaving, negative. Okay? And I choose the same thing. Positive here, negative here. I treat the same. Okay. Okay? Now, when you get into view, I gave on your register. A here. B here. My question is telling me which side is positive. Okay. I tell you, you know, I given you the register. And I asking you, okay, tell me which side will be positive. And someone say A. Who else? A would be positive. Ah. Okay, another one. Who else? Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Polarity. We don't have enough info. Polarity. If the current, no, no, because B would be positive if the current's going, if the, B would be positive. No. I'm telling you, the answer will be. Regita have a no polarity. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, then I don't know. I'm just yeah. guessing now. That's okay. Okay. How okay. come I said positive this side and negative on this side? So it depends on the current. That's the, because that's the way the current runs, isn't it? Exactly. Current okay. Coming, the current coming in positive, leaving negative. Okay. Right. But the digital itself have a no polarity. Okay? Ah, okay. When you connect it to the circuitry, if the current coming in, positive leaving, negative. You get that? Okay. Okay. Okay, when you're looking into this circuitry, <clears throat> you know this is a series circuit. Okay. The region is series. And the column go to R1, R2, R3. Only one. Only one color. So that's why they in series. Okay, now I said the point here A. Point here B. Point here will be C. Okay, and that will be B. Now, my definition, if I say B, B that means the voltage from A to B, we call it VAB, okay? By definition, VAB basically equals VA. V 
my nerve. We be. That was the basic definition. Okay. VAB on VA minus VB. Or VBC, VB minus VC. The thing is, VSA will be higher than VSB. Yeah, they ask him to get in. How come? Stop with you. You proceed. Yeah, the thing is, I have to let them come in. Here. Okay, now, if you say, what is it? I'm down here. You guys hear me? Yep. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Yes. Bless you. Now, B-A-B on the time has to be B-A minus B-B. How come? Make a lot of noise. Real. Okay. VAB equals VA minus VB. The voltage at A higher than B. I've given you example. A will be 10 volts. That VA. VB have to be less than 10 volt. How come? Why does it have to be less? Okay. Because you have a 50 ohm resistor. The thing is case. when the current goes to the resistor. Oh, okay. Okay. When the current goes to the resistor, elect electrical converting into the heat. That's why when you turn on the headlights, if you touch it, you feel warm, right? A little hot. The thing is, electrical converts to the heat. So that's why they lost the voltage. Okay, if we be see then have to be VB, right? And VCD, VC, minus VD. Okay, VAB 
that means the voltage across resistor R1. So another way you can say, this is V R1. That means the voltage across resistor R1. How about V B C? V R two. Same thing. V C D means V R three. That means the voltage drops across. Okay, the power supply to R1, R2, R3, that coming from E. And they say E will be equal VR1 plus VR2 plus V. Uh, okay, that means the total voltage, okay, equal the voltage across R1, across R2, and across R3. They must be the same. That is the voltage. The current, that's okay. The current will be only one I. Okay, I to R1 or R2, R3 will be the same. And also we're talking about the power. Power, okay, of the E equals V1 plus V2 plus V3. And you understand if P1 I square times I want. Get the formula for power. P2 I square R2 and P3. I square. Okay. And the last one, PE. Who tell me the formula? Total power equals what formula? You understand we get three formula to calculate the power. Okay, first one, they can say V, V times I, V, I square times R, and V, V square. Of R. If they go to the register, you can calculate I square time R1, I square R time R2, I square time R3. However, the total, that means P equals E R. E means 10 volts. Okay. I will be calculated. So up to this point here, you can get any question. Can you move the screen up a little bit? What is that on the bottom? PF1 or I, P yeah, there you go. Thank you. Welcome. 
The thing I can the way thinking, okay? Before we could go to the hand out. Now I don't want that. I want to try to go to each subject, okay? Try to take you, so that's why you need to take the, um, the note. So when you're looking into that, you're able to understand. So if you're ready, I can erase that. Yeah, you can erase. Okay. When whenever people are ready. And then P E P E E equals um Okay, now, what thing? We want number one, total power, total resistance. Ah, total. How do we calculate the total resistance? You have to do adding on up the register. Add one. Number times expo plus uh, minus number. 300. Yeah. Adding on up the register in series. It can be two registers, it can be three, it can be four or five. If they get the same color. Okay? So if you're adding, then what you get? 50, 150, 200? 300, 300, somebody said. Total resistance. Okay? And now, number two. Cora, we want to calculate the color now. Go to nine if you apply the arm law. They will be E. That means V. Divide our total. Now, if you see, after we get a total resistance, I can get the circuit to look like. Look here, negative E. I e. here will be our total. 300 ohms. And the golden flow here. Mm -hmm. I. So if you apply the ohm law, E divide our total. That means you get the same volt. Three hundred dollars. So you divide that by three hundred. Yeah. Three hundred. Oh, okay. Nice. You going what? Thirty volts. And divide to 300. 33 milliamps. Yeah. And divide 300. Zero point 
zero three three. Zero five. Zero three three. You net go down will be a bad. You get that? Yep. If I don't want an ampere, I want milliamp. Then equal how many milliamp? Then it would be 33, right? All right, 33.3. 33.3. 33 Milliamps. That is telling you the relation between ampere, milliampere, or microampere, kiloampere. Okay. Number three. You calculate telling me what we are what. I want the voltage proof a what. The formula will be I times R. Then I times R what? Um, we are two. 33 times 50. Times R. Two. And okay, so 33. Yeah. I, if I is 33 times point 33, 33.3 times 50. Exactly. That means zero point zero thirty three. 33. Yeah. Times 50. Times 50. Yeah. 1.65, right? Right. Point zero. Whoa. 33 times 50 equals 1.65. Yeah, VR2. VR2 is I times VR2. So 1.65. Get three point three. I times 100 is 165. That's not right. You take uh, I 0 0.033. 0 0.033. Yeah. Times 100. 3.3. Right. Then. R3 is Time, point zero point one zero three three time equals I to square. Is it 4.95? <laughs> yes. Okay. So that is a basic calculation. Now, we're talking about major. Measure the voltage and measure the current or measure the resistance. That when you're working on the left bolt, you have to know how to do it. Okay.
Okay, as you know, the BMF. Digital multimeter. <laughs> you see that's a one of the meter. Okay. If you read it up here, okay, then you can see if you want to measure the pointed or you want to measure the color. Okay, but this is a two O. We go with the new one here. Okay, you can see it's right here, connection right here. For wanted for anything else, not the color. Connect the high lead into here, and this will be the common, that means the wrap. Okay, if you want to measure the color, then you have to connect the lead into here. You made the color. I lead must connect to this side. If you connect to the other side, you cook the, the field inside the meter. Okay? Make sure you must understand that. Now, in here, you can turn around, depending on what you measure. Okay? For example, you measure the function. Then you can see they get the bar over here. Or we get one. What I mean, if you can if you set into that one, what you measure? DC voltage. Perfect. You measure the DC voltage. However, you turn to get one. AC. Okay. Okay. Now, another thing. When you're using the meter, measure the AC. The voltage you get will be VRMS. Okay. UDMM Major AC Want the gas Will We are M F or they call it VAC. Not we pick or pick to pick. You see that? Yeah. So basically if you measure the AC, you see <laughs> that side here. Whatever you read, that will be VIMF or VAC. If you take the meter, you connect into the outlet of your house. Only thing you're able to say, you get 120. Volts RMF or volts AC. However, you understand it for the sideway. You get the bonded peak, right? VP or from top to the bottom here. VP peak. Peak to peak. That's what we already go through it. That only thing is you're using oscilloscope. Okay? If you're using the meter, that's only thing you're able to get. 
will be VIMX. Okay. Now. Number one. Okay. Measure VB. That means you want to measure voltage at point V. You get a DMF. So now how do we connect DMM? The positive connect where? Positive connects on the top and the negative connects on the bottom. You have to identify by the name. Connect right. Where? Positive connect to where? I want the red to connects to red connects to the positive and black connects to the negative. Yeah, but now I said you say positive connect to point B. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. Negative, Negative connects to point A. Connect to where? Connects to point A, right? Wait, 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 wait. To be wait. I want point by here. C. <laughs> B. It would connect to point B, right? Positive. No, B. positive. It's at B. This would the, the negative would connect to point A, right? No, on no. C. No. On C. On C. Okay, one say C. Who else? Well, I already missed. Missed it, so I'm not going to guess again. Negative of meter must be connected to ground. The negative has to go to ground? Exactly. When, ah. you, when you measure only single point, when we, for example, then the other side of the meter must be connected to Number. Okay. They must be. If you want to measure VC, then the quality connect to C and the negative of the meter connect to ground. Come on. Okay. Number two. Measure. Uh, we are two. Okay. DMM high. Connect your web. Mean for BR2. And then DRM high. We are two right here. That means the voltage across a tree, right? See? Oh, I do, sorry. We are two right here. What is your C? DMM high connect you. Someone said now it goes into C. B. High side of the meters. Oh, B. DMM low. B. Connect you point. Oh, C. Sorry. We are sure. Basically, 
be my not be six, right? Same thing, BB6. That means VB <coughs> minus BC. So that's why DMM high side connect B. Low side have to be connect to C. Okay. <coughs> If I want VR1, VR1, that means VA minus VB. So, DMM high. Connect to. We are what? Tell me. Hi, Dave. DMM high connect you find. Hey, right? DMM low connect you. B. B. Perfect. B. So that will be telling you when you want to measure the bottom. You know, high side connect to where and low side connect to where. Then you're okay. And using the meter, you set it to measure the bottom. BC. You can see again, V, you get the bar over, and V, you get the sideway here. That will be DC. That will be a six. Get that? Yep. Okay, any question regarding into major the voter? I think of when you're working on a fourth circuit wall, this is fundamental. They want you to measure the voltage. They may want you to measure the resistance. They want you to measure the current. Okay? So if you understand how we do it for the voltage, will be no problem. You can get it done quickly. Okay, any question regarding into measure the voltage? If I say I want measure V at point B, V B, and the high side connect to B, and the low side of the meter must be connect to common. Okay. Now I go to Talking about major the color. Okay. I want to erase that thing. Everything. I need the room. Now I get only two register. Blood temple. R one. R two. Okay, and the top. Fifty off.
and the Quran here, only one Quran. That is a positive, that is negative, positive, negative. So the Quran will be the same, right? Quran will be the same. I, two R1 or R2, only one. So if you want to measure the Quran, okay, then you have to change the connection high side, low side on your DMM. Okay, we already trying to do in here. Okay, so you see the DMM here. I already telling you. Measure the current, you must be connect the height lead into this side, not on that one. Okay, and that will be common here for the low lead. Okay, and now. So, to measure the corner, you have to break the circuitry. So basically, you know how to do it, but you never do it at work. The thing is, what the guy doing? The job as a technician at work. The circuitry they not working. They given to you in order to have to fit it, make it working. So. In order to measure the corner, they said you have to break the circuitry. I can tell you, I can break the circuit right here. Break it out. Okay. And that's not allowed at work. The thing is, your job will be fixed the circuitry when you break it, the wire. So they already damaged it. No way. Okay? Never happen in a company. Only thing is you have to understand how to do it. And you will be doing it when you're working on the left wall. Now, I tell you, this is your meter. High size. That will be low. Okay, what thing do they want the column here? Connect it to here. Low into high. Okay, so basically you connect into this point. That, for example, A, B, C. Okay, so you get the current flow. They go up here, they will be go here. Go to nine. Go to DMF. The 
and the lows are here. So I like to rough. And that's why they can carry you. The current flow can be unfair, merely unfair, whatever. That is how to measure the current. In here, you measure only one column. The thing is, column will be the same. Okay? If you get a question, let me know. Now I'm talking about the circuitry you're working on, on the level. It seems to be on the left wall. You got that power here. I want R two R three. They get a plus minus. If they say they want fifteen volt. Okay, now try to understand. Then you can get this lab done quickly. First thing when you're looking into the circuitry, you see that dot in here. What that mean? It means it's a broken sir. It's a broken uh 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 uh. Yeah. uh that means yeah, the wire it's broken. The wire broken, broken. Um, yeah, energy. The wire broken. Telling you this side. And this side not correct. Correct? Right. Okay. So what things they want to see I want the value. That means the question they are asking are one valid using the color code. Mm -hmm. I'm lazy. So I just take a meter. Okay. I measure a clock R1. I connect the meter, one side here, one side here, and set the measure. Meet the man to measure all, right? Measure okay. it. And okay. then tell me the value. Then I don't have to calculate the by the color code. Otherwise, you have to look into that what color code and try to do calculations. But I'm lazy. So that's why I just take a meter and measure a cross R1, measure O, and they're telling you whatever value you can enter. Okay? And they can measure R2 or measure R3. That is what they Now, if they say, I want to measure the 
base V B. Right here. Then you're using the meters, right? You get your DMM. Positive. Negative. Hi, right, come on, Cupcake. Sign on. I'm so sorry for you. Oh, the blushy, the washy bushy. DMM. Positive connect to where? Oh, wait, let me get my psyche just in case. Right, to, to the... Okay, what are we playing, Chuck? What are we playing? Please, please mute yourself. Right? VB. Yes, yes. Negative. To ground, right? Well, fight. That's right. Wait, let's go, let's go look for some bugs first, okay? Can what? you please mute yourself? He needs to mute himself. I can't hear you and hear him too. Yeah, yeah. It, it goes to the ground. Right. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay. Yes, I hear you now. Okay. Low connect to ground. Correct. Okay? Yes, yes. Now, if you measure now, you get nothing. Oh, uh, you set me up, teacher. If you measure at this time, you get nothing. Okay, so I so where do I go now then? So okay. the, then yeah. negative has to go to something, right? No, no, correct. Correct for DMM connection. However, you see this broken, right? Oh, so that's why they using that's what they call a two pole. Okay. Like that one. Connect here. Okay. 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 That's what they call it. Super. Or total. Yeah. Why a connection? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now you connection you major here. That's working. Okay. Now, if you get a wrong data. What can we do? Say that again. If you made the yes, you suppose you get six volts, for example, but you not get that value. What do you think you can do? Adjust it. Adjust what? Adjust the meter. No. Adjust the board. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay. First thing. What they asking for? Fifteen volts. Fifteen volts of VB. VA right here. Right. Right. 15 volts. So that you can make sure that voltage will be 15. If it's not 15, what can you do? You don't know. You, 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 you can add voltage. You can play with the little knobs on the top to uh, fine tune it, right? Yeah. First thing you have to know the voltage here, correct? Right. 15 volts. In order to know, basically, you connect directly via the same thing. 
and the voltage maybe they say 10 volts. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. It went 50. So what you can do? Okay, on the left volt. You can see the jet show power right here. You That's see? what I just said. That's what I was just saying. You can fine tune it with the knobs on the top. Right, exactly. That's for negative. And then there's a positive on the top, on the other side. Right, you get it. Okay. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Pham. I didn't know that the, the, the right side was positive 10 and the left side is positive 15. I didn't know they're different no, no. numbers. Sorry. You can add up zero to 50. Oh, okay. That can be going okay. zero to. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, there zero you go. to none. Minus 50. You can oh, okay. not, right? Yeah. Okay. So that means you be to get <clears throat> me. Now, if I say they want to measure VC, how do we connect? How do we connect the Major B C. You I want would uh high side yeah I'm connect you. I'll let someone else answer. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. You get the amount. Yeah. Quantity negative. High side connect to C, right? C. Okay. Low side connect to ground. Exactly. Yeah. However, if I say they want to measure V R two. VR2. VR2. EMM high, connect. Mm -hmm. And the EMM low. You have to change the meter to read ohms and then connect it to C and D. Exactly. The EMM high, connect to C. DMM low connect you. D. Correct? That'll work. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. So that's why, if you understand, then basically you can get it done quickly. That is technician job. Now, the last one for this part here. I want major the color. <clears throat> So basically, the current will be flow this way. Okay, how do we connect the MM? You would collect the put the negative on A and the positive on B. <clears throat> the MM. Hi. 
có máy chua EMM low Connect to D Connect to B B However, you have to remove the wire Right? Not using support They have to be open Okay So basically Why they connect here? And negative connect to here. So now the column, they will be go this way. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. The thing is this is a left bone system. They already prepare for your guy to measure the color. So okay. that's why they leave this open. Okay? If you want to connect using two pole, connect it. <coughs> so if you understand, that will be cover for you on the home block, okay, home block. So any questions on this thing? No. On top, when you run left ball, you can go through a lot of things, okay? They will be explain to you, whatever. And they given you the multiple choice, asking you A or B or C or D. You can get it quickly. Click A, they not B, not C or D. The thing is we get through that quickly. Only if we pay attention right now, you have to go to the point they said locate the DC funder mental board, okay? And connect the circuitry they wanted. And now you can do whatever they're telling you. Too many questions on multiple choice A or B or C or A or B, okay? If, if you take too long to think about it, that will be very good, but take a lot of time. Okay? For well now, you try to get up to the point that says low get this is fundamental circuit board and working on the arm law. Then they tell you how to do it. As we will get the, the time to give you how to work in with that quickly and also talking about using the generator and the oscilloscope. Mr. Tai will be talking to you on Friday tomorrow. Okay, now another one, quickly, parallel circuit. Voltage is the same across each branch of the circuit. The total current is equal to the sum of the, the individual brand current. The equivalent resistance are equivalent. It left them the smallest brand resistance. Total power equal to the sum 
of the power dispensed by its resistance. Now, that is parallel resistance. Circuit. You see, we get R1, R2, R3, or Rn. Doesn't matter. In this one, we get three. How do we know they in parallel? You see that the current, total current from the power here, they go up here. They go to R1, they get the current I1, go here. Then another current will be go to I2. And the next one will be IN or I3. That means the current different. If the current to the resistor different, that means resistor in parallel. Okay. If they the same, they will be in shear theory, right? Okay. Now, the voltage VR1 here, the voltage VR2 across R2 here, and we are in here, and the total voltage here. So basically, <laughs> they're telling you, the voltage across it, the digital in parallel will be the same. You can see that's VE right here, and that will be VE on top. That will be VE, that will be <laughs> Okay, parallel resistor get the same voltage across each resistor. If I say I want to calculate I want to I want I want equal now using of law. I equal V divide R. V will be E. Divide R. What? Correct? That means I want. How about I2? A divide mm. okay I am I <coughs> am A that's a very easy right that's the arm law and the voltage here, voltage here, or voltage here, or voltage here, will be the same. Only the difference will be the curve current. Depending on the resistor, they get big value. Then the current will be less. If they get a small value, current will be bigger. Okay. In here, when you read the same, all the data connect in parallel, you have the same voltage. <coughs> one via one via two via n. The current to each the data, that's what they call friends, current in parallel and different. Okay? And the total current will be equal. I1, I2, plus I am, right here. Now, if you want the total resistance, that means I want to combine R1, R2, R3, or R M into one circuit. Okay? Then, 
they have to get a total resistance <coughs> in order to do calculations. A total. If one one divide one over R one plus one over R two plus one over R M. Okay? And you get R T. And now after you get R T, then my circuitry will be look like. Only one register only. That will be our feet. And the column here will be I total. Okay. Normally the calculator total resistance. That means they try to combine on of the register in the circuitry yeah. to only one register. Okay, that is the one how they look like. However, they said only two registers. You don't have to use this formula. You using formula will be how one time I two divide how one. Look at you. Now, you try this one, a total, and you get three over not. You get 18 ohm, parallel 9 ohm, parallel 6 ohm. They want to calculate a total. So, so I given you a total one one over eighteen ohm plus <coughs> one over nine plus one over six. You try. And tell me, is it you get three or at least someone have to do it? So you know how to use the formula. Okay, let's see if we can get three. Oh. Is it you get three off? Eighteen times one over mm -hmm. eighteen. Love mm -hmm. one over nine, love mm -hmm. one over six, and you get one divide total. Three.
for parallel resistance. This resistance in parallel gets a different current. However, the voltage across this resistor in parallel will be the same. Okay, now, this example, they already gave them to answer here. Only thing is, the last thing I want to calculate for this circuitry is for me. The thing is no answer yet. Calculate that one and give me the answer. That only two register, okay? So you know R total. R1. 1,960. Time R2, just a minute. Divide. 1.96. So what you get? 1.96 kilo ohms. 1.96 kilo ohms. Say one point nine six. I couldn't hear. One point ninety six. Okay. That's a one answer. One point ninety six. I want another student give me. Is it the same one point ninety six? That be okay. Otherwise, something have to do calculation. You take 98 times 2, divide 98 plus 2. The thing is sometimes, this is a beginning, then giving you a little hot, hot the time. However, after for a while, you get along, everything will be running good. This is a technician electronics. Your job will be fix the problem. So that's why the job will be more skilled. The thing is that you have to deal with the problem. Okay? The problem is the problem. If you cannot solve the problem, they will be there forever. That's why if you know how to do it, the company don't want to let you off. And you know the technician currently now, you can get paid $25 up to $30. Depend on when they interview you. Okay, so is this a 1.96? Is that the right answer? Yes. Okay. There you go. This one, they already get what they call a current divider law. If you get only two register in parallel and the current is a total current, when they go here, I1 go this way, I2 go that way. If you want to calculate the I1 to use what they call current divided law. R2 divide R1 plus R2 times I total. 
Okay. If you want to calculate the IQ, then IQ will be R1 divide R1 plus R2 times IT. That's what they call current divider law. By the way, I'm talking about Bone that divider. Divide the law. That for series circuit. Okay, so basically, if you're looking into this circuitry, is it a series or parallel? It's a series circuit. Series circuitry. The reason is to get a code in here. We go to R1, go to R2, go to R3. That means the code will be the same. It is zeta. Okay. So if I want to calculate the code I, then telling me I equal A. Divide total resistance. R1, R2, correct? If you want total resistance, okay, R total. Then they be R1, R2, R3. And if you want to calculate the current, then take is divide. A total. Okay. Now, if I want to calculate the VB, tell me how.
How do we calculate the BB? Remember, formula to calculate the voltage will be I times R. You already get I. Now you need to get R. BB will be measured from point B to the route. So you see the current only one I. So I times what? Tell me, I times what? R2 plus R3. Perfect. That means from a B to the ground, you get to register R2, R3. So time R2 plus R3. And if you want B6, I time what? Times R divided by? No, BC, right here. Oh, BC. Oh, okay. R3. R3, perfect. Okay. Now, we're talking about bonded divider law. If I want to calculate the VB, divider. Then V base will be equal V F and A. Ah. That means you want both up from here. Then they will be time R2 plus R3. And divide by R1, R2, R3. That's what they call a quantum divider law. <clears throat> Instead, you have to calculate the current. And after you get the current, then you can use the calculate VB this way. Then now we don't need that. Okay? We're using quantum divider. Now, in order for you guys, make sure you understand. I want to be safe. I times R3. I times R3. That means you have to get the calculate the code up. Okay. We don't want to calculate the code. VA times R3 over R1 plus R2 oh, plus R3? A mean VA. Ah, R3. And you divide R1 
Loves Ajo. Loves Plus R3. So think if we divide R1 plus R2 plus R3, that means you have already calculated those products. Okay. However, if you understand, and you can use this formula to calculate the VB or you calculate the VC. Okay. Without calculation, correct. Without Calculate the total resistance. That's what we call a voltage divider law. Okay, you get a two law, <coughs> current divider law, and a voltage divider law. Voltage divider apply for series circuit. And the current divider law applies for parallel circuit. Okay. Anyway, the major for the summer semester, we get only two months and a half. That will be learning only one thing, AC. Circuitry. Okay. Mm -hmm. You understand normal the metal will be the phone or the spring. Then they will be we take you take one will be electronic. That means you will be learning about diodes, about the amplifier. Okay, transistor. That means relate to the electronics. And for tech shows, you'll be learning about digital fundamentals. That means about the memory, about the decoder, encoder, whatever in the digital, like inside the computer. Okay. The lab for the electronic and the AC will be using <clears> them <throat> both. However, the lab for the digital protect you. You have to build your own circuit. And also you have to develop the software to test that circuit phase. Okay. And everything almost you can do at home. You build a circuit phase, you can be at home. And so if you get the computer, you can develop your software to tap at home. And after you've done both, you have to go to the lab to run. If it has, that means you done on that, that lab. If it's not, we will be helping you. However, before you start it, I will be teach you, okay? How to do everything. So make sure one thing you must be understand for the youth today and tomorrow. Sometimes you're busy, I don't care. Just lock it in then you can do whatever you want. Other people already in the program, they already know. However, you lock in so we can get your name. <laughs> able to give you the hour. Otherwise you will be missing the hour with the one there. Anyone in the program not learning AC, even tech one in last semester or the new tech one for this summer, all of you have to be learned. And also you have to do the homework and the quiz and the lab. 
However, lucky the left only two circuit board. One will be AC1 and another one AC2. Okay, if you get DC fundamental, then AC1, AC2. If you get two done, then you just come to clap to side in, and you can do whatever you do. <coughs> what I'm telling you, when you get into the left bolt, whatever you do, they record it into the server. We look into that, we know what more you're working on, which block you done, okay? So if you done everything, you can take easy. Let me get any uh, questions, anything. Today, I don't know, my system get uh, a little problem with the speaker. I don't know what's wrong. Before we don't. But after about. So you have schedule for next week? Can you say again? You have schedule for next week? Next week you still get Thursday, right? Monday, no, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> you have to be in the class, right? Oh. To do your lab. Thursday, I will be taking you on AC. Friday, Mr. Tai will be teach you how to working on the left walls for AC also. How to using generator, how to using oscilloscope. That's what we need for the AC circuit. If you understand the way oscilloscope working, then no big deal. Any different scope, only minor different. Same way. Any question? Anything else? But I recommend, okay? Okay, someone wants this video will be uploaded, right? I will be uploaded to the web. So you guys missing or not understand something, then you can go to the web, okay? And look into that. Okay, now I try to stop that guy. And I. Okay, I'm going to share with you. That thing. Just a minute. <laughs> you see that website? Yeah. Okay. You see that? So if you want to go into my Zoom, just click on that or meet the tie on that one. And we say Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> class. And we open to 30, 7 30. Thursday, mm -hmm. Friday will be online. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're telling you. 
Third day today, that's what I'm working on. Tomorrow, meet the time. Okay? So, normally, if we get more students to do the lab and do 30 to 5. And after that, you have to leave in the room for the other student. Okay? Basically, two hour or two and a half hour. So when you sign in, you don't have to enter the time. We did it for you. Otherwise, you get only two hours a day. You can have to be staying in the program too long. I don't want that. Okay? I want you, if you know how to do what to do, then you'll be ready to get the now, in here, if you want to see, okay, I'm going to go down. You see, on before, you see that? That's the generator and That uh, generator here, okay. Before the COVID 19, we get a lot of students, okay. No crowded. If you want some uh, homework here, assign number one, assign number two. Assignment of three. Okay. You can download and working on that. After you get it done, now you need to upload your work right here. Upload file. Click on here. Okay. You need to enter your name, first name, last name. And you'll be choosing what file, okay? Then upload it. So we, no, Mr. Fam, we're yeah. not we're not seeing anything you're doing, Mr. Fam. I you see on the screen. No, no, no. no. We see your face. Oh, I'm we sorry. See the face only. I really sorry. <laughs> Just a minute. Yeah, we're we're seeing your face. That's it. Oh man, sorry. You're saying bam, right there, bam, and we're, we're not seeing bam. <laughs> I see you. Say <laughs> a screen. Now you see that? Now we see okay. it. I go back home here. Yeah. Sorry, man. If you All want right, to see it. what's going on for yeah, every week, yeah, yeah. every week, okay? Okay. And that what you see the picture, that's a ball, okay? Uh -huh. Oscilloscope, generator, okay? And basically, you see that before COVID? 19, you get a lot of students. Now, do one the uh, homework. You go down right here. Okay. Assignment number one. Number one click. Then you can open, you can working on that. Okay. After you're done, you want you have to upload it. So we can check. You go into the menu here. That okay. upload file. <clears throat> Click on that. You enter your name, first name, 
last name. Then you can choose the file, assignment zero one, whatever. Click upload. Okay. Okay. So you get any problem with the homework? I up there, then you can help me. I can help you out. No problem. Or when we go really good on the AC circuitry, then I will be using the time to try to helping you to get through the homework. Also, I will talk to Mr. Tai. They have to teach you guys how to run MSIM 7 okay, simulation. Okay. That means you get a circuitry. You don't need to do any calculation. You just build a circuitry connected and using a meter, using generator, using oscilloscope to do your job. That's what they call simulation. They give you everything. Okay? So basically, you still need more time to get along. That for take two. One for take one. Okay? Whatever. So any question, anything? Nope. Okay, if it's not, so have a good weekend, okay? You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes. Bye bye. Bye. If you get any question, anything, okay, you can. Let me know, and you, I can be on Zoom with you to something the thing you not quite understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.